Oh, I did not make it. Uh, whoopsie. <laughs> Yeah, I am dying a lot. Oh, four. It's not even that far. Why is there so many of you? They all die for a good cause. Baggy sweatpants. Found my boy's head. Just lying there, staring at me. I'll see if I can make it. Quite a lot of them. <laughs> Yoink. Morphine. 
But does that zombie have more feet on it? What? <laughs> Yourself an inhibitor, too. Oh, I forgot I could get tic tac. I do want to learn how to drop kick. Alright, med kit, immunity booster, a reliable axe. Now what's in this chest? It's only like medium, so. Boom. MR and Archer wrapping. That is straight up spooky. What is this? A cheapo machete. I used that right in front of him. My fault. Dog, you are right. Oh my god.
got a new tape. Let's see what we got here. Ladies and gentlemen, Run. the man you've been waiting It's just past eight, March the 6th, 2024. And you're listening to Villador News. Hello, my dears. I hope you are holding... Why no? Villador. Why, it's another lovely day in the great city of Villador. How did our fair city look several centuries ago? Originally known as Gretberg, a settlement on the banks of the Tersawa River, it received its city charter in 1033. From Why was it and around the fourth, who renamed it Villador. This ridiculous blockade. Thanks to trade with the East Indies, Villador grew in importance during the 16th and 17th centuries, drawing in merchants from all over the world. The city's rapid expansion came to a Dayton, Pilgrim, come here, please. Man. Carl, you wanted to talk to me? Uh, you know, Pilgrim, I'm not a very godly man. Yeah. But it was not always so. Do you know the biblical story of Daniel and the lions? Nope. No, I don't. Why don't you tell me? So, Daniel was a godly man. Prayed three times a day. Never skipped a prayer. Even when his king forbade his subjects to pray to anyone other than himself. Daniel didn't change his ways. So he was sentenced to be thrown into a lion's den. And you don't get out of a lion's den oh. like in one piece. Yeah. Oh, After I, I remember night, this. The accusers looked into the den and saw that Daniel was alive and well. Not because he killed all the lions. Not because he escaped, no. His god sent an angel to close the lion's jaws. So Daniel was saved. Having witnessed the true power of Daniel's god, the king ordered that the accusers be thrown into the den and their wives and children. Is this a metaphor? The PK are the lions, right? Yes. But the big question is, what does God stand for here? I'd say justice. I'd say so too. But yeah. why are you telling me this? Because I know that Sophie, my right hand, is currently plotting against the PK. She wants to kill the lions. Okay. And how do you know that? Because I was granted the gift of observation. And because I know her. And because she's not very secretive about it. The truth is, I'm worried about her. She's of good heart. But she's hot-tempered. And won't listen to me anymore. Yikes. But maybe she'll listen to you. And what do you want me to say to her? Don't provoke the lions. Justice will come to us eventually. If, however, she leads us into the lion's den. There will be no angel to help us. We will all die. Us, our loved ones, everyone. The PK will devour us. Now, I get that you're afraid, but Sophie's her own person. She'll do what she thinks is right. <sighs> That's probably true. I can't make anybody do anything against their will. That's a tyrant's way, not a leader's. Maybe I should focus all on right. what I can do. Thank you for this conversation. My sister found some weird tapes inside an abandoned okay. cemetery the other day. Have you ever seen anyone more like you than me? Yeah, damn it. Here, years ago, everything would have been simpler. It's a good thing I have some savings. I worry that back then. Nothing over here. What about an electric fence? Oh, they're talking about the electric fence, I just realized. Uh, electric fence. That was for good. Aiden! You're already a legend in the city, you know. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous block mm -hmm. music center. Aiden! Did you do it? Did you find the music box? Yes, and I've come to give it back to you. But I said you could keep it for saving my life. A and I mean what I say. Oh, I believe you. But the way you keep humming the tune from this music box... Thank God it is Seems you'd be happier if you had it back. <laughs> so, 
Who would have a better home with you than with me? She... Well, maybe. I have had it forever. Thank you, Aiden. You're welcome, my lady. Poggers. Three chains. I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna need that. Please back off. You're making me uncomfortable. Bro, shut the fuck up. Ain't nobody asked you. Let's see. Let's put some of that away. Where did I get this katana? It's like the. <laughs> uh. Honor his blade and he shall repay, repay you tenfold. Amen. to cancel? Hmm. 
for bows. Oh, it's... Whoa. That's a lot of arrows. Alright, now I got range. So lots and lots of arrows. Months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. Bruh. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosey here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. Bitch, you can't even take me Lucas down. Deserve to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. Shh. A lot of talk for a guy who can't pack it up. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie Bruh. was like a brother to me. That's cap. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. Ah. <sighs> You're an ass. Ah, not again, you piece of shit. Think you're in pain now? Keep talking. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, clever Veronica. Oh. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Coral. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. Scratch marks I on his back. I know what you think. Uh, back, back we have to sand. listen to him, Herman. It's for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. 
Uh, Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Uh, Bro, why, interesting why are you only speaking here, grunt? Little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing yeah. old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just give me the answer. Just ask. What do you want to know? It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. Okay. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Shit, okay. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? Fuck you. It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. But to the back with fact. Carl. What was that about? Fucking Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Pay. Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, yeah. he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded oh. protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know yep. what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a but shitty, shitty mom. mom. Yikes. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on, and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. So just kill them, you, them you, you can be them. trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal uh, will go down. Make 